Let's talk about how to sex your chicks at hatch. I don't know how to vent sex chicks as soon as they hatch, like the hatcheries do. And I don't know that my breeds are part of the fast feathering. I've heard of that method as well. I don't really trust holding them upside down or doing all those other things. I know I have about a 50-50 chance of being right or wrong. But there is one way that I can know if I need to. And that is by doing a sex link cross in my flock. And it's very easy. When you do the sex link cross, you are using genetics to be able to tell who is male and who is female at hatch. And right here I have an Americana rooster, but any solid color rooster for the most part will work. This guy works. And then right beside him is a cuckoo Moran hen. She's got the cuckoo patterning. She's kind of stripy barred. A barred rock would work for this. Any hen that is that pattern will work as well. In my other coop, I do this cross with um, black copper moran and a barred rock hen. I've also done it with the cuckoo moran hens, and that makes for a really quick growing meaty meat bird if you want to use the males for that. But um, all you need to do this and is take those eggs from this resulting breeding and you incubate them. When they hatch, you're gonna be able to tell because the barring gene is only gonna pass down to the male chicks of that hatch. And then the females are going to be all black to make a black sex link cross. The same with the uh, Moran and the Bard Rocks or Cuckoo Morans. So um, a quick Google search will give you a list of all the breeds that you can use to, to make these different sex link crosses. But it's very convenient because then you will know when you have pullets or cockerels. And the interesting thing about this mix is it's going to make an olive egg or hatch because I'm taking a blue egg layer and a dark brown layer. So it's going to make an olive egg or cross and that's something that's in high demand these days for the pullets. So we're going to go in and look at some chicks and see how we can tell. Here are two chicks from my most recent hatching and I would suspect, we're going to guess here which eggs they came from because I knew I had some eggs in there that will produce a sex and cross. And you can see from this, this big one right here, he has a little spot on his head and it's enough of a spot that makes me think that's the barring gene. This would be an olive egg or cross here, you can see his little puffy cheeks. And that was from a blue Americana and a cuckoo moron hen. And I would assume that he is a male. I'm not going to sell him as such, but um, these chicks are all going to go straight run anyways, but that, that would be my great assumption that that is a male. And then I picked this one out, and you can tell this one has black beak, is very dark, and has black legs, and all of these things point to a black sex link cross, which the same mating is going to produce as well. So this is a male most likely, and this is going to be a female. Now, if I were doing this to produce pullets that I, were going, I was going to sell as pullets where I really needed to know for sure what they were, I would have kept those eggs separate so that I could see more distinctly instead of guessing out of a whole bunch of mixes that I have in a bin who's who. But that's how you can tell with that barred sex link cross. And these are olive eggers, so you can see all the practical reasons that you would want to do a sex link cross with those, those guys. So I thank you so much for watching. Subscribe to us so you don't miss any videos and have a great day. Thanks.